want to be up the left hand side. Gonna be okay. Well, we just avoided that tree, and if this carries, this could be pretty nice. Let's go to some highlights with Kala Morikawa, and there are plenty of them. Here's his third at the second. You mentioned his bunker play, Steve. He was perfect out of the sand today, three for three. Hey, he made it four for four. Really should suit Collins' eye. Got some slope left of the flag you can use. Got to carry it, though, at least 13 onto the green. Not surprised Collins going with putter here. Yeah, this whole situation was surprising. I know Carney's on the ground. We're not. Absolutely fantastic up and over the trees from Akshay. Ooh, circles around. There you go. Thank you, brother. Which he has right down the middle. So, yeah, I, I don't mind this play at all. And had it been a little down breeze like it was yesterday, we may have seen him hit a driver, but... Just amazing bunker play. And you've talked about this iron play for a long time. Yeah, I know he said he missed a few greens there with Todd, but he hits enough inside that range I look at around here, which is 10 feet. Good example. Really shouldn't be much in this. All of a sudden, this group's turned it around. Yeah, three under on this hole. Wood for position. Different shot check to Xander Schaufel trying to fade this ball down the fairway, but almost the exact same result. Now at the 11th. Another one shot shape. He loves that ball to just be drifting right as it lands. Not only is he dialed in with those irons, even though he only hit eight greens and was joking with Todd about it, he is leading the field this week through two rounds in driving accuracy. He has it all figured out right now. Uh, got the speed perfect, just catches the right side of the hole. Another birdie for Colin Mark Gower. Uh, gallery fired up. Trying to make more stock swings at all these tee shots and iron shots into greens. Not north much anymore. Okay, that hugs the right side, so we'll see how that fares for the second shot. And he's looking that one down. That is a unlucky bounce looks like it landed right on that down slope and we are here at the rbc heritage round two harbortown golf link steve sands please be alongside frank novel of colin morikawa to 16. colin morikawa is on the tee dog leg left yeah. just want to hit it to the corner then just a short iron in his game starting to really round in the form. Made a nice run last week at Augusta. Here he is, just one back of the lead. He's trying to hold off a wedge. Oh, oh that's ooh, so good. There you go. Colomar Cow is trying to grab a share of the lead here at 16. And he does. And Morikawa. After a 65 yesterday, look at the clean card today. Oh, look at this. Colin Morikawa is already three for three in sand saves this week, but this will be a challenge. <laughs> it's going to be four for four. <laughs> Excellent up and down. I think it's the same for the people at home. For some, it might be finding fairways with their drivers. For others, it's their iron play. 
It's interesting. If you look at one stat from you today, you hit eight greens, but you still go out and you shoot that 66 today. How were you able to do it? Well, Todd, it felt like I hit eight greens. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I was just missing them enough to where I, I could putt a lot um, off the fringes, but the irons just weren't as sharp, but I really got everything out of that round. And, you know, when I did hit it close, I made my birdies. Um, hit some good shots coming down the stretch, so that's nice. Um, and a little bit of work on the range and we'll be just fine. Mm. We've talked about how you've improved your swing uh, over the last few weeks. You found something, but I want to recognize your putting. It has been troublesome for you in your career, but you're currently top 10 in strokes game putting right now in the field. How comfortable do you feel on the greens as well? I feel really good. Um, I've hit a few poor putts. I mean, the one on 17, you know, every past couple rounds, um, I've had about one or two putts where they just never felt really confident and as free as I'd like. But overall, they feel really good. And it's always tough coming from Augusta um, and coming to these greens where they're so subtle and the slopes are so um, intricate because you, you don't really see it, but the slopes are there. And it's really tough uh, putting on these greens. But so far, I felt like I've hit some really, really good putts out there. All right. Well, I wish you smooth sailing the rest of the way. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for your time. Todd. Thanks. Guys. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.